Chicago drivers and bicyclists at odds over new protected bike lanes in West Town. Installed to make the city roads safer, but the data suggests it could be contributing to more ca crashes. WGN's Jenna Barnes reports. Chicago's a great city. In this great city, getting people where they need to go safely is critical. The heartbeat of uh, Chicagoans is the best of all hardworking blue collar people who uh, are friendly and love their neighbors. But those neighbors are at odds in West Town over a change designed to improve safety for bicyclists, pedestrians, and drivers. It's fantastic. It's so much safer than before. It's way too dangerous, yeah. They're talking about these new protected bike lanes that stretch just over a mile on Augusta Boulevard from Milwaukee to Western Avenues. There's a lot of conflict for sure. The Chicago Department of Transportation completed the project in early August, essentially swapping the existing bike lanes and street parking and adding concrete curbs to create new bike lanes that are protected from car traffic by a line of parked cars. So we used uh, the new configuration here to shorten the crossing distance for a pedestrian. CDOT also lowered the speed limit from 30 to 20 miles per hour. We've noticed a, a big difference in how people are driving on the street and, and the behavior of motorists has improved greatly. Partly because it looks and feels like a tighter squeeze for drivers, though CDOT says the driving lanes aren't actually narrower. The Augusta project is a small part of 150 miles of bike lane expansion the city has planned over the next few years. The West Town community is a priority because it sees twice as many pedestrian crashes and five times as many cyclist crashes as an average community in the city. And this stretch of Augusta has seen two fatal crashes since 2018. It lights up. It's got these headlights. Bike advocate Stephanie Reed rides Augusta daily and sees the change as a push in the right direction. I remember the first time I rode on it with my 12 year old daughter. She couldn't believe it. She said, I feel so much safer now that I'm not next to cars and we don't have to dodge cars parked in the bike lane constantly because that's how it was before. But for families who park here, hold on, babe. two arms real quick. It's another story. Okay. Stop, stay close. The Rubios now have to dodge cars on one side. Right here. Go across, look for bikes, look for bikes. I know, I know it's coming. Go, go, go and bikes on the other. Hi there. Every time they park outside their home. Yes, I know, oops. After picking up their kids, Eleni and Mateo from daycare. Come on, let's hurry. Okay, we made it. Obstacles they didn't have to worry about when they decided to raise a family here four years ago. Of course we want bike safety, but more importantly, you know, I'm worried about my kids, so. You know, I, it's like we sacrificed my kid's safety getting in out of the car now. Others we've talked to complain of blind spots. The cars parked farther off the curb make it harder to see for drivers turning onto the street. Do you think um, being a biker, I'd be a fan because I know the move was made for, for biker safety and um, certainly appreciate that, but I think it actually makes it more dangerous. I've seen more damage done, at least right here in this setup um, than in the old setup. We dug into city crash data and found he's right. As of November 1st, on Augusta between Milwaukee and Western, there'd already been 77 crashes this year. That's more than each of the previous three years. And if you look at just the time period the new bike lanes have been in place, the difference is even more stark. 36 crashes between August 1st and November 1st of 2023, a nearly 90% increase over the same time period last year. And that's up compared to every August 1st through November 1st since 2018, the earliest year for which the city has complete public data. You know, we typically wait uh, many months up to a year to really let the changes settle in. There's always an adjustment period. During this adjustment period, most crashes have involved sideswipes and parked cars, though a pedestrian and cyclist were each involved in separate crashes. If more drivers paid attention and they drove the speed limit, actually stopped at stop signs, I think some of that could be avoided. Some bike advocates say part of the solution can be found in behavior. Drivers and cyclists have to treat each other better. This type of infrastructure starts to enable an environment where we can start to find a lot of that respect. But others in this environment feel forgotten in the pursuit of progress. I think when they decided to do this, we were thinking very you know, one-minded. This is what's going to help bikes. But you didn't think about any of the other steps. Protected bike lanes, improved pedestrian uh, infrastructure, lowered speed limits. 
every time show to make the streets safer and more accessible. And we're very confident that that's going to happen on Augusta. You could see in some of that crash response video that traffic backs up quickly along Augusta because there's no room to maneuver around an accident or even a delivery truck parked in the driving lanes. Some neighbors say they've seen emergency vehicles stuck in that traffic with no way to get around it because the new configuration is so tight. We did ask the Chicago Fire Department if they've had any problems with response times because of it. Their spokespeople told us no. Chicago police did not respond to our request for comment. Jenna Barnes, WGN News.